In a time when every calculation was a struggle and mistakes cost lives, one mind sought order in the chaos. He spent years chasing precision. Numbers became his world, his obsession. From candlelit halls to royal scholars, his discovery would make impossible calculations simple and change the way the world thinks forever. This is the story of Henry Briggs, the quiet mathematician who taught the world how to think in numbers. In 1561, Henry Briggs was born in Worley, a parish in Northamptonshire, England. His early environment was rural, with farms, cottages and open fields forming the backdrop of his childhood. Daily life involved measuring, counting and observing the natural world around him. Henry's family encouraged learning despite their modest means. Books, counting rods and instruments were provided to foster his curiosity Literacy and numeracy were essential skills for trade and record-keeping in that era. From a young age, Henry was drawn to numbers, patterns and organization. Pebbles, sticks and small objects became his tools for learning arithmetic. He observed relationships between quantities, testing ideas repeatedly. This hands-on experimentation allowed him to internalize mathematical concepts beyond what textbooks alone could teach. Henry soon moved from counting to exploring shapes and measurements. He built triangles, squares and circles in the dirt to see how lines and angles related. Geometry became both a tool and a puzzle he could manipulate freely. The Renaissance brought fresh ideas in mathematics, astronomy and mechanics across Europe. Henry had access to manuscripts, instruments and travelers' stories that carried these discoveries. He observed how calculations could predict natural events or construct precise instruments. Henry attended the local grammar school where Latin, arithmetic and logic formed the curriculum. His teachers noticed his speed and accuracy with numbers. Exercises that challenged other students came naturally to him. Word of Henry's aptitude spread through both classmates and teachers. Mentors appreciated his logical approach and problem-solving skills. Peers began seeking his guidance on arithmetic and geometry exercises. At the age of 20, Henry Briggs departed Northamptonshire to study at St. John's College, Oxford. This journey marked the start of formal academic training in advanced mathematics. Each lecture, calculation and observation would build upon the foundation established in his youth. As the carriage rolled away, he left behind familiar fields, stepping into an environment where his skills would grow and influence others across England. Henry Briggs arrived at St. John's College, Oxford, entering a world of formal scholarship far different from Northamptonshire. The stone walls and quiet courtyards created a setting for rigorous study and intellectual exploration. Scholars and students moved with purpose, exchanging ideas and debating mathematics. For the first time, Henry was surrounded by peers and mentors who could challenge and expand his understanding of mathematics. Daily life at Oxford was structured, with hours dedicated to reading, writing and solving complex problems. Henry immersed himself in arithmetic, geometry and logic, balancing study with debates and lectures. Each evening he practiced calculations meticulously, reinforcing precision and accuracy. His discipline in study quickly distinguished him from many of his classmates. Henry's aptitude did not go unnoticed at Oxford. Professors and peers recognized his talent in solving challenging arithmetic and geometry problems. He began contributing ideas in discussions, demonstrating both clarity and originality. These early accomplishments earned him respect and created opportunities for mentorship and collaboration. 
Throughout his studies, Henry received guidance from accomplished mathematicians and scholars. Mentors encouraged him to think critically, question assumptions, and apply theory to practical problems. These interactions expanded his understanding of logarithms, arithmetic, and geometry. Oxford encouraged lively debate among students and scholars, and Henry thrived in this environment. He often engaged peers in discussions on numerical methods and mathematical reasoning. These debates sharpened his thinking and allowed him to test new ideas. Henry began contributing to arithmetic and practical mathematics through calculated exercises and tables. These contributions, though small at first, demonstrated his ability to translate complex ideas into usable methods. His classmates and tutors started to recognize his potential to influence mathematics beyond the classroom. In 1596, Henry Briggs was appointed the first professor of geometry at Gresham College in London. His public lectures drew not only students but also merchants, navigators and scholars eager to learn practical mathematics. Briggs explained arithmetic and geometry with precision, always linking theory to real-world applications. These early years at Gresham established his reputation as both a gifted teacher and a mathematician of rare clarity. As Henry's reputation grew, his path began to cross with the greatest minds of his age. Among them was a Scottish mathematician working on an entirely new way of handling numbers, John Napier. Napier's ideas on logarithms promised to change mathematics forever, but they needed refinement. The moment when Briggs and Napier would finally meet was fast approaching, and with it, a revolution in calculation. Henry Briggs first met John Napier in a quiet study where manuscripts of logarithms covered the table. Napier was deep in his work, focused on reducing astronomical calculations to simpler methods. Briggs, already proficient in arithmetic, recognized the potential of these new ideas. Napier explained his logarithms, which simplified multiplication and division, but used a system unfamiliar to most scholars. Henry examined the tables carefully, noting patterns and limitations. He began considering ways to align them with the decimal system already used in daily calculations. Henry realized that converting logarithms to base 10 could make calculations far simpler and more practical. He began formulating methods to compute these logarithms systematically. By organizing the calculations with decimal notation, he made the results accessible to mathematicians and navigators alike. Creating accurate logarithmic tables was grueling work, requiring relentless focus and patience. Henry cross-checked every entry multiple times to eliminate errors. Fatigue and the sheer scale of calculations tested his determination. In 1617, Henry published Logarithmorum Chilius Prima, containing the first thousand base 10 logarithms. The work offered unprecedented precision and usability for scholars, navigators and astronomers. It standardized calculations that previously took hours or days to complete. The publication quickly gained recognition across Europe for its accuracy and practicality. Henry continued his work and published Arithmetica Logarithmica in 1624 with over 30,000 logarithmic entries. The tables were calculated to 14 decimal places, demonstrating extraordinary precision. Scholars across Europe praised the work, incorporating it into astronomy, navigation and engineering. Its reception confirmed Henry's status as one of the foremost mathematicians of his time. Henry Briggs's base 10 logarithms transformed the way calculations were performed across disciplines. Astronomers, navigators and engineers could now complete complex computations with speed and accuracy. His work became a cornerstone of scientific progress in the 17th century. By making mathematics more accessible, Briggs changed the pace and precision of human knowledge forever.
Henry Briggs held the prestigious position of Civilian Professor of Geometry at Oxford, a role he used to advance mathematical study. His lectures combine theoretical concepts with practical applications, influencing generations of students. He emphasized clarity and accuracy, insisting on precision in calculations. Many of Briggs' students went on to become mathematicians and scientists themselves, carrying forward his methods. He encouraged independent thinking while stressing systematic approaches to problem solving. His mentorship extended beyond the classroom, fostering collaboration and intellectual curiosity. Henry Briggs gained recognition not only in England but across Europe for his accurate logarithmic tables. Scholars and navigators valued his work for practical calculations and theoretical insights. Letters and copies of his publications circulated widely, spreading his influence. His reputation as a mathematician of precision and innovation became firmly established during his lifetime. Henry Briggs passed away in 1630 in Oxford, while continuing his academic work. He was buried locally, close to the institutions he had served throughout his life. His colleagues recorded his dedication noting the precision and care in every calculation he produced. The academic community mourned the loss of a mathematician whose work had set new standards in calculation and scholarship. Today, mathematicians and scientists continue to rely on the principles Briggs developed centuries ago. Base 10 logarithms remain foundational in education and computation. His dedication to precision and usability set a standard that persists in modern mathematics. Henry Briggs' work endures as a testament to the power of careful reasoning and the lasting influence of a disciplined mind.